Runtown has one of the biggest tracks in Africa with Mad Over You. Doing songs with the likes of Wizkid, DeVito, DJ Khaled, and Sakodie. Runtown wanted to be a basketball player, but his career took a turn for the best. Welcome to the story of Afrobeats. I'm your number one journalist and your number one host, Mr. Montgomery. And today I'm going to be covering the story of Run Town. He's probably got one of the biggest tracks in Africa, Nigeria, globally, whatever, worldwide right now. Guys, I've done a lot of other ones on, um, you know, Fino. I've, I've done I've done a lot, trust me. The Fino one is coming out soon, so you know get ready. Um also guys make sure you subscribe as well, leave a comment below, leave a like. I want you guys to like. Liking my videos is very important. I want to thank everyone that's been liking my videos. Um without further ado, let's get straight into this. Douglas Jack Agby was born on the 19th of August 1989 in Enugu but grew up partly in Abuja, Lagos, Nigeria, where he finished his primary education. After the death of his father, he moved to Abuja with his mother, who was working in the Ministry of Health. Whilst growing up, he had the aim of becoming a professional basketball player. In 2005, he relocated to Enugu after his mother developed interest in politics. He went on to finish his secondary school education. Douglas was currently studying fashion management at a fashion school in New York. He went on to seminary school and whenever it was time for the choir as he was a kid, he would always go running. He was a bookworm, the kid that loved reading. His music inspirations were the likes of Sean Kingston, Bob Marley and Kanye West. In 2007, he released his first track entitled Runtown. This song was produced by Sojay. By this time, he was going by the name of Douglas. The following year in 2008, he moved to Lagos and met Fino. In 2009, they clicked immediately. By 2010, he dropped his second single entitled Forever. Then he went on to release tracks like Lele, Reason and For Your Matter featuring Tamaya. At this time in Lagos, he was living with Jay Martins who he met through Tamaya. In 2011, he changed his name and was officially going by the name of Runtown. He released songs like Activity Picking, Anti, Holiday featuring Fino and another single party like his 1980. By this time, Runtown and Fino had created a record label entitled Penthouse Music. In 2012, he would have his first international feature with Laza Morgan, a dancehall Afrobeat song called High On You. By 2013, his buzz was all over the place, as him and Fino were both next up in Nigeria. He released Anti Tolu featuring Tamaya and jumped on Wizzy Boy's Emergency. He signed a deal with Eric Manny's Entertainment after releasing the track Successful. Although being signed was a good move, his partner Fino didn't really like it because they both came up together at the right time. After this, his first big break would come when he dropped Galado featuring the Vito. Things took off after this, ending 2014 with two award nominations and a Nigeria Entertainment Award. He would keep his feet on the gas in 2015, kicking off the year after releasing the latest and dropping the sound featuring South Africa's Uhuru. There are reports in the media that Runtown wrote the Vito's IA. In an interview with the Nigerian Tribune, Runtown denied all the claims and accusations. Then on the 23rd of November 2015, he released his debut studio album, Ghetto University. The album featured tracks like Lagos to Campala featuring Wizkid and a special guest appearance from none other than DJ Khaled, the song entitled Money in the Back. Yo, check this out, it's DJ Khaled, one time for one town, it's all about that money bag. That
The album made him listed in the top 5 most streamed artists in Nigeria, earning him 2 award nominations at the end of 2015. On the 31st of May 2016, Runtown revealed that he had quit Eric Manny's entertainment record label after the record label breached in the recording contract with threatening of life and extortion. Well, you know the rest of the story because this is the story of Runtown and this is the story of Afrobeats. I've been your number one host, Mr. Montgomery. Guys, I want you lot to listen to Mad Over You. The song's actually a very beautiful song, but I'm not going to talk too much, guys. Leave a comment below. Make sure you like this video. And if you want to promote your videos or you want to, uh, your producer, you got a brand, you have something and you want to promote your stuff on my channel, um, there's an email in the description. Make sure you go and hit that one up as well. Watch out for all the other videos I have. This is the story of Afrobeats, and I've been your host, Mr. Montgomery. Until next time.